current biodiversity crisis and high species extinction rate are consequences of rapid environmental change mediated by human activities. Overharvesting, invasive species and altered climate are all examples of significant environmental change. From evolutionary perspective, invasive species often represent an instantaneous and strong change in the selective environment. So what is the possibility that native species can adapt to an invader? Here, scientists examine the possibility of an adaptive response by an Australian black snake to the invasion of a toxic prey item, the cane toad. Twelve black snakes were collected from both toad exposed and toad naive populations to examine the possibilities that these snakes display an adaptive response to the presence of toads. To do this, scientists first need to determine whether there are differences between populations that could be defined as adaptive and second, investigate plasticity and changed traits to see whether observed changes are results of plasticity or evolution. Over a period of time, the two traits were compared with respect to prey preference and toxin resistance and further separate laboratory experiments in learning and acquired resistance. As a result, from these studies you can see in Figure 1, both toad exposed and toad naive populations were willing to eat frogs, but no snake from a toad exposed locality would consume a toad. In Figure 2, we can see that the snake's resistance to the toad toxin increases with increasing the exposure time. So, can snakes learn to avoid toxic prey? In figure 3, it can be revealed that snakes fed a toxic prey item show no inclination to avoid the prey item in further feeding opportunities. When comparing toxin resistance and a control group, in figure 4, it shows that a repeated dose of toxin tends to decrease a snake's resistance. The results show differences between black snakes from toad exposed versus toad naive populations, both in their physiological resistance to toad toxin and in their willingness to eat toads. Importantly, both of these differences are in adaptive direction, that is, we can see an increased resistance to toxin and lower preference for consuming toads in toad exposed populations. These changes could be evidence of either plasticity or strong selection imposed by toads. Studies found no evidence that black snakes can learn to avoid a toxic prey item, nor that they can acquire physiological resistance to toad toxin. Due to the inability to elicit acquired responses in either of the two traits, suggests that the differences observed between toad exposed and toad naive populations are due to selection rather than phenotypic plasticity. The challenge still remains to determine which classes of environmental change encourage adaptation rather than extinction.